Imagine a world without smartphones, not even a single landline. Now add a major revolution to the mix. That's what our guest today, Vladimir Lenin, had to work with. Mr. Lenin, you were at the helm during a time of massive upheaval, Russia's industrialization. Tell us more about it. Indeed, Stephen. It was a period of tumultuous change. We had the goal to propel Russia into a modern, industrialized nation. After coming to power in 1917, we launched our first plans to end World War I and focused on heavy industry. And did you manage to achieve your targets? The results were remarkable. Production of coal, iron, steel, and electricity experienced massive growth. The transformation was visible, albeit with significant sacrifices. There's always a trade-off. What about technology? How was it used during your leadership? My era wasn't as technologically advanced as today, but we made the best use of what we had. Radios were vital for communication, trains for transportation and logistics, not to mention the rapid industrial machinery development. Fast forward to today. How do you perceive the technological advancements that have occurred? It's extraordinary. In my time, we barely imagined instant communication worldwide. Your devices, smartphones, internet, it's like holding power in the palm of your hand. Used wisely, it could lead to a new revolution. You've got to love the internet. Now, any thoughts on how engineering projects today compare with those from your time? The scale and complexity of today's engineering projects are mind-boggling. Yet, I can't help but feel that our spirit of pushing against the odds, of dreaming and making it happen, is the same. That's what makes an industrial revolution, Stephen. And with those profound words, we find ourselves at the crux of history and engineering. So the next time you tap on your smartphone or marvel at the latest tech, spare a thought for how it's all come together.